What I'd like to talk to you about today is nursemaid's elbow. This is a very common pediatric problem. The medical term is radial head subluxation, and it just refers to which part of the arm is dislocating. It's typically a traction injury, so that means that somebody pulled the child's arm. So the term nursemaid's elbow comes from the old stories of children being watched by a nursemaid and about to run out into the street, do harm to themselves, and the nursemaid grabs them by the hand and pulls them out of danger, but at the same time dislocates the elbow. And there is a very easy maneuver to put the elbow back in place, which I'm going to tell you about in a second. Nursemaid's elbow almost always happens in children under the age of four. And that is because the tendons and ligaments that support their elbow can be a little bit looser than they will be as the child ages. So it just makes it that much easier for the elbow to dislocate. Once it's happened once in your child, it is possible that it'll happen again, and it just means that their ligaments are that much looser than somebody else's. So it's important if it's happened once to your child that you at least try to learn how to do the maneuver so you can put it back in yourself, save yourself a doctor's visit or an emergency room visit. And as I said, this is a very easy maneuver to do. It is something that you really should try because you're not gonna make any injury any worse. If you saw the child have the arm pulled and the child is holding his hand, his or her hand, close to their side, kind of bent a little bit, not moving, it is the elbow that's out of place. Wrists don't get dislocated. They get injured usually from falling on them with an outstretched arm, but dislocation causes the elbow to be in. Shoulders do get dislocated, but they require massively brutal blunt force to dislocate them. So really with a simple injury like this, it's going to be the elbow. And now I'm going to take you through the explanation of how to put it back in. Hi, this is my friend Daniel, and he's going to help me show you how to put an elbow back in place once it's been dislocated. If Daniel's elbow was out of place, he would be holding it like this, kind of bent and close to his body. And he wouldn't want me to move it or touch it too much. But I have to touch it a little bit to get it back into place, right? So the way that I put it back in is I grasp the upper arm right above the elbow and I hold it firmly. And I take the lower part of his arm with his palm facing down and then I quickly twist his arm and his lower arm and his hand away from his body. So holding firmly here and a quick twist like that. So the hand going from face down to facing away from the body. When I do that, I feel a click in his elbow and I hear a click with my ears and then I know that the elbow is back in place. Usually, within a few seconds, they start to move their arm again and raise it up over their head. Show them how you raise your arm up. Perfect, just like that. Thank you. That is how you put an elbow back in place. So that's the whole maneuver, really easy to do. If you have any additional questions about dislocated elbows, or have any topics that you'd like to see covered in future videos, please contact me at askdrresa at gmail.com or by following the link in the website listed below.